Under the midday sun, Murray Bridge residents gathered to celebrate the opening of a new lot. Not another urban sprawl into the countryside, but something the local Afghan community had been lacking. A couple of the Afghan men came to see me and said, what we really need is a cemetery. And I said, don't you need a mosque or a community centre or something instead? And they said, no, we can pray anywhere, but we need a cemetery because we have a special way that we bury our dead. The Murray Bridge Cemetery now has a section dedicated to traditional Hazara Shi'i Muslim burials. The Hazaras had only been in, uh, in Adelaide for two or three years, but they had had to bury them in regular cemeteries. They had had to bury them uh, in positions that didn't face Mecca, for example. That's one of the big requirements. We were one of the first ones to have recognised that the our Afghan community needed a place of burial, and we uh, didn't have any hesitation in uh, agreeing to that process. After the ceremony, the Afghan women provided a lunch for the volunteers and Lutheran community care workers who made this possible. Funding from the Settlement Grants Program assisted the Murray Bridge community. Originally we had somebody paid for two days a week under the CSSS program, uh, then three days a week and now we have funding for five days a week and of course the more time we had available the more things became possible.